Well, hello everyone, I'm Tamara and welcome to my YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, share my videos with people that you think would enjoy it. I've been studying narcissism and borderline personality disorder for many, many years as a counselor, studying the DSM-5 and um, just, you know, learning and understanding these disorders and you can never stop learning like I think it's imperative because at some point in your life you are probably unless you are very lucky will encounter someone who is very narcissistic and then you have to figure out how to deal with them how to cope because even though it's a disorder they can really wreak a lot of havoc so today we're going to focus on narcissists exploiting people People with narcissistic personality disorder are very capable of exploiting people. So exploitation, as it refers to a narcissist, is the tendency to exploit others and show no regard or empathy for their emotions or interests. And this often occurs when the person is in a subservient position where it is awkward or impossible to resist the narcissist. And you get different brands of narcissists, which is so interesting as well. So what does exploit mean? It means to make productive use of, to exploit your opponent's weaknesses, to make use of meanly or unfairly for one's own advantage. Um, so it's taking advantage of people. And some people have become great at this. This can be passed from generation to generation. I know I once had someone to tell me that their grandmother taught them from A to Z how to exploit people. I mean, they didn't say use the word exploit, but how to get over on people, how to get people to do what you want, how to get things out of people for your own benefit and gain. And some people practice this to a very high degree. I mean, they become masters at it. They're very smooth at it, but it's not fun for the person who's being exploited. Friends can exploit friends and it can be so subtle. You know, it can come in the form of, can you do me a favor? They know how to ask things so that they get what they want, even if it puts you out of pocket or they're taking advantage or getting you to always help them or be an extension of who they are. I need you to do this for me. I need you to look over that for me. I need you to help with this situation. I need you to help my kids with this or that. And it's just constant. What can you do for me? And how can I take any situation and use it to my advantage so that I'm getting something out of it. So take away the genuineness of, hey, I just want to be a good friend to you. And how can I make this situation work for me? So even though it looks like I'm helping you, I'm really using this situation to help myself. And of course, when you are in the workplace, there are people who exploit people all the time and this can come mo most easily when someone is a boss. They can put themselves in a situation where they have people working around them. Like for example, instead of doing any of the things that they are supposed to do, they will delegate all of those things to other people and even if that means you don't get your work done, they can put you in the position where you are performing uh, work that's going to benefit from for them. But then when are you going to have time to do your, your own work? You probably will not. And that can cause you issues later. But the narcissistic boss won't care as long as well they might care if it comes back to bite them because you didn't get things done that are in you know that are supposed to be your assignment but they can definitely exploit a lot of people they can do a fake empowerment thing where they make people feel like oh i'm your friend or 
oh, you're better than what, you know, you're smart. I'm putting you in a boss's role. And that can be quite flattering. Like, wow, this person thinks highly of me while they're using and abusing you to do things that they should be doing. There might be a person who's a narcissist or they have some borderline tendencies and the person feels empty, deprived, angry, and has an insatiable longing that can't be filled. And so these people can be demanding, intimidating. They can appear all powerful or they want people to comply, no questions asked, point blank, period. You do as I say. These people who exploit others, they also cross boundaries. So everybody has boundaries. Well, they cross over these boundaries over and over and over again because they're exploiting people for their own benefit. They want to rule and reign and be the king and the queen and it's my way or the highway and everything is revolving around me and some of them are very subtle with this they may not be screamers or yellers they might talk very softly and you just look at this whole system that's built around this person haven't you ever heard of the phrase king of the castle they may also run their households in that way where something is just off off balanced everything revolves around this person, their needs, how they want things done, what's going to benefit me, what's going to put me on a pedestal. They may create a hierarchy uh, in the workplace or at home where it's like, hey, I'm way up here, you guys are way down here, and make sure you understand and know that you are to tiptoe and walk around my needs. Now, that doesn't mean that they don't play chess moves where they're going to do something for you in order to get something back or to keep your loyalty or to keep you uh, tripping and thinking a little crazy like, okay, am I imagining this? Well, this person was nice to me today. A lot of times they will help you with things that will benefit them and disregard the things that will benefit you. So they can be giving you all the things they want you to do. Like, let's just say, and this is not to be stereotypical, but just it just popped into my head. Let's just say that you're married and you guys have kind of divided up the, the chores in a certain way and he's decided he's gonna be in charge of the outside and eventually you find yourself doing all the things that you agree to do and you're doing everything outside. And so now you're mowing the lawn, you're watering the lawn, you're planting the flowers and you're doing all of that. And that person might every now and then come outside and help you water the yard or every now and then maybe they'll rake up some of the leftover grass and bag it up but that's to their advantage that's their thing that oh well now i've got you doing this because oh well this happened or i don't have time because i'm doing this can you handle it and before you know it you're doing everything and that person is doing nothing and they're very subtle and smooth about it it's a very interesting phenomenon and the person is narcissistic or has some borderline tendencies or has a combination of both so they are professionals at disregarding they become very adept they don't care about your feelings your wants your needs and they might not even be doing it in a vicious yelling screaming way because they are very manipulative at getting their needs met and they're not going to care about your human needs or what's right or what's wrong all they care about is i'm getting mine if you're dealing with somebody like this check out my book the workplace narcissist by tamara hunter zion on amazon i know it will help you to navigate and understand these people better whether it's in the workplace or your home um, I think my book will really give you the support that you need. These people are incredibly difficult to deal with. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like it, give a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with people that you think it may help. And put in the comments if you've ever had to deal with someone 
like this, where you just feel like you're being subtly exploited. And if there are any video ideas or topics that you have, put those in the comment section too. So I'll see you on the next video, friends. Bye.